In this example, I need to find the domain and the range of the function given here. Notice my function is just written as a small set of ordered pairs. So let's review the domain. What's the domain of a function? Those are the x values that your function can take on. And what's the range of a function? Those are the y values that the function can take on. And when your function is given as a set of ordered pairs, it's very easy to find the domain and the range. So to find the domain, all I'm going to do is write down every x value of each ordered pair. So the first one is negative 8, negative 2, 1, negative 9, and 6. So those are my five x values. Notice in problems like these, I write my domain as a set of numbers. That means it has to be put in braces. But when you write a set of numbers in braces, you need to write them in numerical order from least to greatest. These are not in numerical order. The negative 9 is in the wrong place. So all I have to do is just reorder my set of numbers, starting with the smallest, negative 9. Then I have negative 8. Then negative 2, 1, and 6. So there is the domain for this function. And now all we have to do is find the range. Remember the range are the y values. So the range is the set of numbers. What are my y values? Negative 4, 7, 3, 0, and negative 15. So now all I have to do is order them from least to greatest. So my smallest number is negative 15. Next is negative 4, then 0, then 3, and finally 7. So that is the range for this function.